Hey there, welcome back. Today we're doing something a little bit different. Gonna be answering some questions that nobody asked. So I started this channel a little over a year ago. I know the first video didn't come out till October, but there's probably about two to three videos I didn't release beforehand. I wanted to create a YouTube channel just to kind of push myself to shoot more regularly. As well, I wanted to learn Premiere and Edition, and I got really in over my head very, very fast in the beginning. If you go back, like I keep my old videos up for a reason. They're not good, but it's like showing a progression and a learning curve from where I've like started from to where I am now. Like I didn't do any video like presentations or anything like that in my past. Like my background is in illustration and I just kind of picked photography along the way. And uh, I did graphic design as well too. But yeah, video or talking to cameras and doing anything like that, uh, yeah, not in my repertoire of skills. So I kind of wanted to take that on. As well, I wasn't shooting as much as I wanted to, and I thought that the YouTube channel would kind of consistently push me to shoot more regularly, because the more photos you take, the better you get, and I think it's the same thing with the videos. The more videos I make, the better I get. Like, everything's kind of like a continuing learning curve that goes up and up and up, not similar to likes on the algorithm. With that last joke being said, uh, the biggest hurdle I'm facing is the algorithms. Like, it's kind of funny to think that, like, people are joking, like, the art form's dead or YouTube's dead and stuff like that. Well, I have seen that, like, I've had videos that have done pretty okay, and, or I've had videos that have just kind of tanked and not gone anywhere. It's kind of an interesting beast, and I don't know if it's because of me or the videos I'm picking, or if it's just basically everything's being hidden. Kind of interesting. Like, I guess I could learn SEO and all that jazz, but that's another thing I gotta kind of figure out. The hurdles have also been just being creative on a time scale. Like I've switched jobs this last year. I've uh, had a lot of just different things come and go into my life. So like to consistently produce videos like bi-weekly, it's pretty tough. And like I have to give like kudos to those who've been doing this full time for a long time. Like it's hard, but for me, like I'm working a full time job and doing these videos. So I got to find the time and make the time to make these. I feel that another hurdle I have is just basically creative differences with what is expected to be made and what people want to see versus what I want to make. And I know the answer is I need to start making what I want to make and find my own place. But sometimes you feel like you lean back into this other mindset to kind of make videos that get you noticed because that's the point, right? Like you want to be a well-known photographer. You want your work to be admired. But it's this hard thing that you're trying to figure out, like that balance between what do you want to make? Where do you want to go? And that's been a pretty taxing issue on my mind when it comes to making these videos. Again, there can only be so many videos of Portrait 400 with a Leica M6, I feel like. I don't really want to contribute to that. That's not my goal or my ambition. Nothing against that film stock, nothing against those cameras. It's just, it's been done and done again and again and again. Another hurdle is the cost doing this YouTube channel. It's not sponsored. Nobody's sponsoring me because I've only got 400 plus followers right now. But uh, it's the price and all costs money. The film, the development, the cameras, uh, maintenance, different kind of things I'm adding on to it. But I'm not really complaining that I'm spending the money. It's just sometimes the video won't come out in time because I can't afford to get a certain part of it done, whether to buy the film or get the film developed like sometimes it's a waiting game and that's the thing that's so funny about film photography is like we all shoot it because there's that anticipation waiting for your photos to get developed but in this culture of media satisfaction it doesn't really kind of work out like we're trying to produce film photos as fast as possible even though film photography is about slowing down it's really kind of odd with all these hurdles being said though it's going to continue to do this channel like for at least the foreseeable future. But um, I'm trying to find something that's gonna be more unique and more me. Like I kinda wanna start experimenting more with basically my like B-roll and my uh, footage, hence why I'm outside today. But uh, yeah, I'm trying to take this in a new direction and maybe that might make things slow down a little bit more. Maybe there'll be more videos that don't get shown, but I'm intrigued to keep learning and doing something different. Like I'm still happy with the experimentation process. Like again, all this learning is basically the main reason I started this channel. I wanted to try to do something that uh, I haven't quite done yet, and it was a great little like test. Truth be told, I have no clue. This could be the last video. We don't know. I could just basically be like, ah, I'm over it. 
this sucked. I got 200 views on the last video. I'm over this stuff. But no, I don't think that's going to be the case. What I really want to do is just basically more so focus on making something a little more me, a little more original. I basically am a Brady Days clone, just not as good or as talented, or I definitely don't have the budget. Yeah. <laughs> Again, with imitation being the purest form of flattery, uh, I think it's time for me to start doing something more so in my realm. And that's the thing that's so funny. Like, I want to kind of stray away from what I'm doing and do something more unique and more original. But again, like with TikTok being like the hugest social media thing where people are just constantly repeating each other. I don't know if this is a smart move, but hey, it's what I'm going to do because it's going to make me happy. And I think that's what I need to do. As well with this channel, uh, when I'm coming to find my voice and stuff like that, I'm thinking about doing uh, more longer format videos this summer. I got two big trips already planned and I'm thinking they're going to be over hour long videos if I can basically get enough footage for them. Uh, with that being said, I know that's usually not popular here. The 8 to 10 minute video is more so what people are attracted to because it's smaller doses, smaller chunks. But yeah, like I'm thinking, like I might have some of those of course made too, but I'm more excited about doing these longer videos. And I think it's that one thing, like once you start doing this, like you just want to start creating and creating an epic, I guess, but maybe that's not what you guys want. <laughs> So, at the end of this, uh, if you want to be able to support me more, again, like and comment, subscribe, all that jazz, like, just keep tuning in to my videos. You can follow me on Instagram at northwest under slash depressed. As well, i am started to open up my own uh, print shop. I have my own darkroom uh, website now, and basically you can order some prints off there and help me out. All that money that I get from that is just going to go back to this channel. It's just going to be either for film development or cameras, all that jazz. So like, yeah, if you've liked any of my work and would like a print, you can now buy one. So there's that. Other than that, um, I'll see you soon for the next one, wherever that will be. Filming outside sucks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you should put that as the end of the video. Filming <laughs> <laughs> outside.